Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for checking out How to Film Skateboarding. Today I got my friend Kevin Lozano. He's uh, from Texas. He has a Canon 7D with an 18 to 15 millimeter fish eye, or lens. And uh, we're gonna just do a long lens shot of Richie doing a backside flip over this cone. I'm sure you guys already know who this dork is. How's it going? So he's always here to come and help out. Since so. you don't want to be detailed for me, I ride the Lowland King 8.0. Yeah, it's a good board, <laughs> good board. So. Let's see how this goes. Basically for the uh, the filmer's first shot, I just let them do whatever they want and then I just kind of give them tips from there. So we're gonna see what Kevin chooses to do and we'll see how it goes. Wow. Wow. Here's the footage review number one. We're gonna watch it. Clean that lens off. Check it out. That was really good for first go. I'm gonna suggest maybe we just zoom in a little bit tighter, but how you panned up, let's try and pan up so like when he's coming, uh -huh. you kind of pan up from the board and then just get it so that it's like full like frame. Board and then... Yeah, okay. and then when he's rolling away, you can see his whole body. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool, so we're gonna try this angle out and see how it goes. Here's review number two. Oh. That was really good. I, there was a little bit of shakiness, but I have a tip for him that I think is gonna help a lot. I'm just gonna tell him to put the strap around his neck in one arm, and then when you pull it away, you get some tension there. And then when you move your camera, you move your whole body instead of your arms, and it will make it so much steadier. Oh, okay. So we're gonna try that out, and then we'll see how the next one is. This is how I suggest when people uh, use this method to kind of set it up. You kind of just put it around, like your neck, so it's like the hanging position. That's how I found it out, because I had my camera like this one time and I was filming a contest and I pulled it up and just held it and I was like, wow, it's way steadier. Ever since then, I've been using <laughs> this method for DSLR, so we'll see how it works for Kevin. Yeah. All right, so this is review number three. Does that even count? Nice. Oh yeah. So his, another his framing was a tiny bit off, so uh, we're gonna give it one more go and see how it is. And uh, yeah, we'll check this out. So this is our fourth review. And that looks perfect. So after four or five tries, we got it. It's looking great. Kevin got a really good shot and we collaborated on it to put something together. All right guys, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you guys learned some tips on shooting some long lens stuff. And uh, thanks Kevin so much for uh, coming in and helping out with this. Kevin's also a really good skater too. Um, do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, yeah. Or would you rather me post a link to your part? I'll post a link. For, to the part? Yeah. Okay, so click right below and you can see how good he is of a skater also. And thanks Richie. Always doing a horrible job, but you know, we appreciate you trying. Yes, <laughs> seven, seven million tries for one land. That's how we do it. <laughs> and if you guys like uh, my videos, check out my personal YouTube channel. It's NK Vids. And uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week.